that is it really do- yeah i think it does look we'll start laughing that could you laugh at it i think the top is super sexy like so stinking cute i was not supposed to be getting any sneakers but i end up getting Hey Spice Squad, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Naya. Make sure you press that red subscribe button down below and press that bell so you don't miss a thing your girl posts. <clears throat> Y'all, we are on the road. It is 5.20 in the morning. TT in the cut. TT. <laughs> Britt back there in the cut. Love them. Love their lives for helping your girl. We have a, um event today, so we're on our way to D.C. We will talk to y'all when it's daylight or our first stop. Y'all, the sun not out yet, but we made our first stop, Chick-fil-A, for the girls. Chicken minis, and she got an egg white, bacon, egg, and cheese, bacon, cheese on English muffin. Bacon, egg, and cheese, egg, egg white with an English muffin. I'm just trying to be healthy. And... I'm asking for like one one more extra jelly. For jelly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. Yes, ma'am. Extra jelly. Thank you. Um, can we get extra? I wish three jellies in here. How many jellies y'all need? I need a half. Okay, we got enough. Alright. Thank you. You guys have a good day. Thank you, love. Welcome. Hey y'all, we are here. We've been setting up. It feels so good outside right now, but it's supposed to get hot. So, and we outside, so I hope we don't get too freaking hot. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Thank you. Setting up. Looks good, looks good. Y'all, it looked like the classes is about to or started, so let's see what they got going on. Check out the website or hit me up on Fortitude Juice. 
Hey y'all, what's going on? Today is Monday. I haven't talked to y'all since Saturday. Um, since like the end of the event. And I really like was having a hard time coming on here or not. Because I don't know what is going on with my body, my skin. But y'all know I have struggles with my skin. And like breakouts and stuff like that. Something is going on with my face and it was real bad on Saturday too, but I literally had no choice but to push through. I don't know if it got worse on Saturday or what. Y'all know at first I was struggling with my chest like having really bad breakouts and like being pussy bumps. Now it's like these little tiny bumps and whatever it is has taken over my face. And I noticed it more the day of my birthday and then a little bit before that, because I started to see like little bumps, but I'm like, oh, Mother Nature, that's why my face is breaking out. Mother Nature has come and Mother Nature has left. And I am, my face is getting worse. I have like an emergency uh, dermatologist appointment scheduled for tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Because the way my face looks. I don't even want to be seen by people. I don't want to go out. Like I have another vending event this weekend coming up at the mall. I'm telling y'all now, I will not be there if my face does not fix. Like, this really messes with my self-confidence. Like, very much insecure. Like, don't want to be seen. Like, it gets my whole mood down. I don't want to talk to anybody. I'm just in... I'm, like, literally under a dark cloud. And I'm going to tell y'all something I'm really ashamed of. And, like, I'm really ashamed that I let this affect me so much that it stopped me from doing something I went to church I was in the parking lot and I took another look at my face and I did not go into the sanctuary I literally sat in the parking lot for 10 minutes battling crying freaking out like I could not go into the church because I was so I feel so hideous like y'all might not understand but my people who suffer with like maybe really bad like acne and like stuff like that like you are gonna understand my pain and this is something I battle with since I was a teenager and the fact that I am 31 I am a full-grown woman like I know our bodies change and all the things but like this is one thing that really will hinder my mood and how I feel and how I move like yes it might not look bad from what you're looking at right now. These cameras put a very pretty filter over your face most of the time. But I'm going to remove that filter. And like I even have videos on my phone that like look horrible. And I might insert them here. Or I may wait until my face clears up before I insert them. Because I'm just like. Like how you feeling today? Like 10 being happy. 1 feeling like super bad. I am definitely at a 4 three four i'm three four because i have so many things to be happy for like i'm blessed i'm all of those things but like i'm also very much realistic and this has altered my move the fact that it has stopped me from going into the church is like a big deal and i was so looking forward to going to church because i missed the past two sundays because of traveling my birthday and all those things and i know it's the enemy but like it's how i feel so can y'all see okay there we go i think you can see and I don't know if it looks as bad as it really does. Yeah, I think it does look as bad. Do y'all see that? Like, it has taken over my face. Look at this. And I promise you, I feel like it looks worse in person. It looks worse on the phone. Like, it is everywhere. Everywhere. And I really contemplated showing y'all and, like, even getting on camera. I, like, wasn't even going to do this. But I, like, have to be so transparent with y'all because I always am. Do y'all see? Like, I don't know what the freak this is. Like, I'm like, is it an allergic reaction? Like, my mom washed my braids yesterday just in case it was the hair or any of the products I was putting in my, in my hair. Yes. And I don't want to put makeup on it. I put I had makeup on on Saturday and I feel like it got worse. And like I don't want to clog these stupid bumps. Like I don't know what it is y'all. And I could just cry and curl up in the ball and hide under the covers. And that's how I feel. Like I don't know if I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow. I already let Kiana know like you know tomorrow's going to be her day to drive. I'll drive the next two days. I don't know if I'm going to go tomorrow because I don't want to be seen like this. Like I just don't feel like myself. And it's not because 
I want to be attractive to people. I want to be attract. I want to be comfortable in my skin, and I just feel the most opposite of comfortable in my skin. And yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know. I just wanted to let y'all know. I just had to be trans. That's what I'm going through in life right now. Like work and other things can't stress me out because my face and my skin it is taking over that I don't even care what's going on in other places I'm taking it one step at a time but my face like and all the questions that you may ask me I've already asked myself my mom has already asked me no new products no new food nothing new so I don't know what the heck it is like any only thing new was my hair I went to Barcelona and I was fine in Barcelona I come home and now I'm not fine you see me, I see you. You see you see me, see you? Yeah, like, I don't know what that was for. But yeah, I, all the questions have been asked. So I'm praying to God that my dermatologist can give me an answer tomorrow. So we'll see. I'll let y'all know. Good morning, y'all. I don't know if it's any surprise, but I am making it to the gym. My face is a little, I don't say a little better, but it's way better than yesterday. I don't know if it's trying to show up because it knows that I have an appointment today. But it always does that. But still, like, y'all can see a lot of red marks. I'm trying to take the filter off, like, because my face is still atrocious. Like, y'all see this side seems a little worse than the other side today. Anyways, I'm going to go to the gym today. Get my three. Oh, I got to go. My ride is here. All right, I'm back. Ah, I'm back, y'all. I made it to and from the gym with this face. Um, I have my appointment at 8 30, it's 6 30 now. So, I'm about to first, I'm gonna fill up my water bottle, not my water bottle, fill up my Stanley Girl, get in the shower. I think I'm gonna try to go in the office today, too, since I'm going up that way. Like, you know, kill two birds with one stone, all the things. That's my water. I didn't make me no gosh darn lunch. I took out some chicken. But I got through the workout, y'all. But afterwards, when I was rinsing off my face, I just felt all the, like, texture of these bumps. Like, y'all see this? It's disgusting. Like, my face was doing so good. And I'm just really un sure uncertain unclear about what the heck is going look at my face ew this looks so nasty i just want to hide in a dark hole and y'all might be like it's not that serious you tell me that when it's your face and mind you you're probably not even used to having this so imagine not that I'm used to having it, but I go through stages. But like when it comes out of nowhere and I'm like, I don't have anything to account for why my face should be feeling like this, be like this. That is when it hurts me the most. Like it really cuts deep when it's like, I don't know where the heck it has come from. Like there's no, no logical explanation. So, yeah. And I want to do it. Okay, so let me just get ready because I have two hours before I need to be there. So I need to get ready in an hour. And I also want to film some content of trying on a couple a couple items for y'all. Because I need to see what it looks like. And then I want to show y'all what it looks like. Okay, y'all. So don't look at these two pieces together. Look at them separately. Because they both are fire. But have their separate uniqueness and i wouldn't wear them together at all okay so first is the top so y'all know that like this cheetah leopard print whatever if it's cheetah or leopard print is in style this top is so stinking cute and i really love this for me it ties around the neck and then it has a little tie right here i did get this in a medium i probably could have got a small but maybe the medium fits fine you know um it has this little flower right here but i think it's super sexy super cute shows a little cleavage but definitely covers up the watermelon so you're cool but i could definitely see this top with some little itty bitty shorts um or super tight pants i would probably wear black 
like black pants with this some type of black bottoms i don't know exactly what but i'm definitely going to be wearing this probably in november and y'all see what we got planned for november and then let's get into the pants which i think are super super cute you definitely wear them low rise like i think these are so cute for like cover-up pants for vacation and i definitely plan to take these on vacation i have um two more like big trips coming up so these are gonna be super cute they're lightweight um i like the design on them they, they're like this netted material it's like net like you can kind of see through them so they'll be perfect for vacation like i said low rise they hang at the waist right there and come straight to the ground and they also have pockets oh i i am kind of excited to get my nails done next week because these butterflies on my nails the butterfly on my thumb and the butterfly right here keeps snagging on stuff um making my stuff look crazy but yes love these two pieces oh yes this stuff these items are from sheen um and really really great pieces they have the pockets on the back too i'm not mad at it okay literally in love with these two pieces like in love okay y'all same thing with this look at the pieces separately so let's start with the pants because that's the easiest don't worry about the top it's a lot going on but these were just some like pinstriped pants they're also lightweight um different material though but i was just like these pants are kind of trendy right now i see the girls getting them they're getting them from amazon sheen like all the little fast fashion places or whatnot um so i just grabbed some they fit kind of, they fit cute i'm not mad at them i think these would be cute to throw on too when like running around you can dress these pants like down and make them super chick with like a little baby tee some sneakers real quick um or even on vacation you can throw these on with a cute little top or a bathing suit top and like walk around and you know do what it do and i like wearing lightweight pants on vacation because my thighs rub so these are actually perfect and they do come all the way down to the ground mind you i am five two and three quarters close to five three um but i'm a short girl but they're not high waters on me they fit pretty good so not mad at these they have the drawstring right here to tighten them and i can pull them up and they have pockets right here or I can like pull them down too you know so yes and then this is the top look at the top sec separate the top I can't wait to style this it's very extra very dramatic a lot of long pieces I plan to wear this with some little cute shorts like some little itty bitty some itty bitty denim shorts um, I'm gonna wear some nippy covers that's why I'm covering these because it is kind of see-through but like it's the same kind of style as the cheetah shirt the tie right here tie around the neck cute little flower but like I think this is so sexy so cute like definitely giving vacation vibes I would really um, be cautious of where I wear this I I wouldn't just wear this anywhere that's just me you can wear whatever you like but i think the top is super sexy like so stinking cute and i can't wait to wear some itty bitty jean shorts and like some chestnut like camel color like sandals but i think i want something with a heel because i want to give like a chunky heel type of vibe cute little purse skin glistening y'all catch my vibes like I, I can see it like i'm i'm looking at it like the the look is there so yeah love that for us I have one more thing I'm going to show y'all. It's a set. Um, and I'm excited for that too because I have a place I want to take that to. All of these pieces I have in mind where I want to take them. And I'm going to tell y'all more about that as we get later in the year. The next, the next month or two we'll be packing this stuff. Uh, excuse me y'all. Okay. We have like 10 more minutes to finish this little quick little try on haul. Because then we need to get dressed and we need to head out so we can get to this dermatology appointment. Y'all, I'm so happy with this purchase. Excuse my cockeyed bun, but I just be needing it out the way for trying on all this stuff. This is literally so perfect for where I want to wear it to. Love the back details, how it's just like the two straps. I did get this in a medium, so I tucked this part. I think I have a small torso. Well, I think I'm just short, so... <laughs> That's the thing. But I do want to show a little skin. Just a little slither. Nothing too crazy. Um, I would tie this better. But yes, it's super flowy. I was a little nervous it would be see-through. But it is not see-through at all. It's perfect. I love this mustard color on my skin. And it's definitely going to do what it needs to do when we go on our trip. I'm so excited. 
So yeah, that is the quick try on haul, y'all. All the pieces you've seen are from Sheen. Um, my last Sheen order that I made. This literally came in before I went to Barcelona, but y'all, I didn't have no time. Like, I knew September was gonna be a lot, so I've just been leaning on God to get me through this month and somehow give me more time in the days because it's just literally getting away from me like it's just going by so fast because there's so much going on every single weekend and week but by the grace of god not me him i got to lean on him and i can't lean on my own understanding i can't be worried i can't be anxious i can't be stressed i gotta leave it in his hands and trust that he's gonna get me through the month and i'm gonna feel energized i'm gonna be at peace i'm not gonna be overwhelmed and i'm not gonna be stressed out okay amen hallelujah all right so let me take this off and get dressed so we can get out the door and make our appointment one time. Hey, y'all. It's a little later in the day. I didn't talk to y'all right after I left the doctor's, but it went really well. Like, she could clearly see something is going on with my face. It's not what I, I diagnosed myself because I went on TikTok and diagnosed myself with, like, the fungal acne. That's a type of acne that can't be helped or rectified with with your normal acne topicals so that's not what i have <laughs> she um said it definitely because I, I was saying like isn't an allergic reaction and she was like no she's seen like a lot of um features of like the acne stuff like the inflammatories and all the things and all the things and the and the redness and like where the like acne is at and stuff so i have a pill that i'm gonna be taking i think it's an antibiotic or a steroid it's one of the two i'm gonna be taking that once a day for like the next couple weeks and she prescribed this topical um cream that i'll be using as well on my face um i think i use the cream twice a day in the morning and at night i'll use my sulfate or sulfur whatever i'll not the sulfate i'll um use my prescribed face wash at night and a gentle cleanser in the morning so i have a new regimen that i'll be using until my face gets back to regular and then she said after that i can start incorporating my tretinoin um, again, but not right now like less is more at this point and she says that she thinks it's a mix of One me coming off of birth control because I've been off birth control for a few months now Two mother nature had came and three I was traveling the different climates like all these different things and my body is like on a roller coaster You know women our hormones all of those things She feels like all of that is factoring into it and that my body and the inside is going a little crazy so I will continue to keep y'all updated on my face journey. <sighs> um, it's just very textured and like nasty. Okay, there we go. You see how like it fakes you out? Like it doesn't look bad, but it's bad. Do y'all see? Do y'all see this? On this light skin skin of mine, it's just so like apparent. Like you can see it. Like there's like no camouflage camouflage in this. And I just and I'm also really red y'all know I'm a red girl so like when I work out I get red like if anything on me like I touch or something it gets red so like if I mess with anything or even if it's just inflamed without me touching it it's gonna be very red and very noticeable and I just feel like a 13 year old girl going through puberty and I don't want to feel that I feel 13 instead of 31 like the numbers are reversed I'm a grown woman and I don't want to feel like this and I don't want to be going through this but hey I guess it is what it is and we just have to take it one step at a time and hopefully this regimen and this medicine is going to help clear up my face my thing is I eat healthy I drink a ton of water what more do I have to do like what more what more. Good morning, y'all. It is Wednesday. I'm feeling so happy, so upbeat, so vibrant because the medication my dermatologist gave me is working, baby. Overnight, we have seen so much friggin' progress. Like the oral pill that I took in the topical already, like. I can see a major difference like hello hello are you kidding me listen go to y'all doctors when something is wrong go to your doctor love I'm so glad I was able to see the doctor I wanted to see like just feeling good 
So about to go to the gym. Quick look before I need to hurry up and get out this house. Um, it's my day to drive today. It's back day, so we're about to work out the big old backs. So stay tuned to the back workout. Hey y'all, so Ski's on the phone and she's outside. Y'all, we had a great morning. We got to the gym on time. We had a good workout. We were clash champions. They take it real serious up there at the at the main gym. We come home <laughs> and it looks like it's not funny. This looked like somebody did hit my front car. Keanu, why do you got these leaves in my passenger seat? <laughs> you, I didn't put no leaves in it. You, she, yo, why, what are these leaves doing here? It looks like a two-year-old was sitting in the front seat. <laughs> Long I story short. Kiana can't get in her door because somebody backed into her car and then in her car, the chips was on the ground. The evidence was on the ground. Oh. And she's saying she can't open the door. <laughs> Let me show y'all the dent. The chips, the chips is not there no more. She picked up the chips listen, for evidence. Hold on. Listen carefully. Oh, let me you show you this. This is. Y'all see the dent? Okay, I open cleaned the door. up the chips. She cleaned up the chips that was on the ground. You ready? Yeah. Open it. <gasps> open it. Open. So what I gotta get in from the passenger seat? Yeah. You gotta just laugh about it. Sometimes you just gotta laugh about it. I'm about to get me in the car. I cannot spice squad. Oh my gosh. I just, I wonder if I just open the door for her so she can get in. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is ridiculous. So now I gotta climb through like this. It's gonna be a good day. I pray yes, that, I pray tonight the first Psalms over you. You dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. You are covered and you are protected. Amen. Amen. You be the light wherever you go. Because <laughs> wherever, wherever you, you go, go, the light shall follow. You know, I don't know about the light following type. No, I'm the light was saying. following you. Your car was not with us. <laughs> That's right. Hey y'all, it is Thursday. I don't know the last time I talked to y'all. I think I talked to y'all Wednesday at, when I went to the gym and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I did talk to y'all yesterday because key car. But we were able to connect with the person who did hit her car. She's going through the insurance claim and all that. So I'll keep y'all posted on key because I know y'all might be worried about my girl. But my girl gonna get her um, door fixed and get all the things fixed. <sighs> so today has been a pretty good day, a long day. It is... Yo, I gotta put my join on like the digital time because this little circle clock does not do it for me. What time is it? Hmm, it is 5.45, I think. Is it or is it 4.45? Child, where's my phone? Yeah, it's 4.47. I'm sick, it's 4.47. I'm about to be spontaneous and go to the track and do two miles at the track and then go to Aldi. I'll probably save Walmart for the morning. It really just depends on how I feel. But I usually go to Aldi like during the week, get some meats, sometimes fruit, sometimes veg veggies, depending on what they got and what it looks like. Excuse me. And then I would love to go to Walmart tonight so I don't have to go tomorrow. So like after I get back from the gym, I could just come home, get prepared for the mall event. I would really like to do that. So we're going to see where the night leads me. But like, let's get into it. This is super spontaneous. I would love to just be in the house and sit on my couch. But I got to get stuff done. And I ate good today. I didn't eat bad. But I feel like I ate more than usual. Even though I only had two meals. But I did have some mashed potatoes and veggies. And I had a little bit of rice. I probably had a half a cup of rice. 
So saying that to say I want to get some activity in, especially since I'm only working out hardcore three days a week. I went to the track Monday. If I go to the track today, that was like five days being super active. So I think that'll be really good. So with that being said, let's get let's get to it. So it is very much still very bright outside, very, very vibrant. It isn't dark yet. We aren't all the way to like when we turn our out the hour back and then it gets like darker earlier so that is on my side today or else i would have liked to get out here like as soon as i closed my laptop from work and went to the track so i'm hoping that this kids aren't practicing on the track because i go to a track that's at a school so i'm just hoping track and field is not outside what is it no it would be indoor track right now right but they probably still would practice outside because it's not too cold so we're gonna see we're gonna see hopefully this works out because i don't know if i can like use the track if the kids are there mm. Mm. i just never had to you know i was never faced with this so we're gonna see and then we're gonna go to the markets and we'll go shopping together okay y'all so i just got here and it's definitely kids on the track like it looks like the track and field team but then i just see this other like person just running laps but i don't he probably go to the school probably i don't know but i feel like i could go on there though because it's somebody else just doing their own thing running the track but i'm not about to just run i'm about to like walk two miles let me take my hoops out because like not too much on me like kids are kids are scary these days y'all they mean not that they're scary they just mean like they'll look at you and start laughing like what are you laughing at like what's funny my face look funny to you like what's tea it's like <laughs> okay they they on the move oh they all about to start jogging together okay cool they now all gather in this big bunch i wonder if it's gonna matter if i i'm about to just go out I'll show y'all. No cap. I should have brought some darn business cards out here and be like, here y'all, y'all need some um track and food, some tights, some shorts, some socks, some joggers, like shop life it. That's what I should have did. Next time, maybe next time I'll do that. Oh, I need to hurry up and get out there now while they on the opposite side of the track. Maybe I should jog. <laughs> I don't know. Freaking out. <laughs> Let me tell you how it's so funny because I was walking up here, a little girl was getting dropped off. Not a little girl, like a student. And she had called her friend to come walk down to come get her. And she was like, why you have me walk down here? She said, I don't even go here either. This is my school's rival school. So, more of the story, it's a whole bunch of people out here who don't go to the school. So, we good. So, just some proof that I made it. There go all the kids like over there that's like running that seem to go to the school. And y'all, why all, why all the little boys got like little braids or dreads like that's really the thing i should have wore some shorts i wore tights body giving tea or whatever that's just because my little pouch is covered up because i told y'all i ate a little too much today but this boy been out here running girl y'all he been running running he doing his big one okay let me put my phone up and look like i belong i need to start jogging <laughs> for these kids catch up to me yeah i made it so I finished my mile, well, two miles, two miles, point zero seven. I made it through the kids. Um, so now I'm about to just get out of my sneakers and put on my slides and we're gonna go to Aldi for sure. Still contemplating Walmart, I don't know. Unlock the door. Y'all see that bunk came out, but there was no way I was keeping this thing on top of my head. Especially because I did run one lap. That's all I did. That's all I did, y'all. I definitely could have ran more than one lap, but I was talking on the phone to avoid the awkwardness of walking past that group of children seven other times. <laughs> it's like the little stairs of the little beady eyes and the little kikis and the little snickers. I know some people don't care. And it's not like I care. It's just like, it's just awkward. Okay. Let's crack these windows. Get some sun up in here. A little skylight. A little sun sign. This is not clear. There we go. I need to get 
when I go to Walmart, I need to get some more wipes. Oh, let me check my bag. I might have them in my bag. I think I got one more left. And the stomach be sitting good till I sit down. Y'all can see the y'all can see a roll from right there. Woo! Yes, boy. I got one more, so I gotta get a pack of these when I go to Walmart. Just to cleanse the face. I'm glad I had sunscreen on. It's so important. Can't wait to go home and take a nice shower. The brown stuff is from my tinted moisturizer. Oh my god, I'm just so happy to have my skin back. It's not 100% yet. I'm going to say it's like 95%. Thank God. Ooh, he's such a good, good father. Because I was going through it. To Aldi we go. We are here at Aldi. Look at those clouds, baby. Gotta grab my reusable bag. My good old faithful. This bun is about to come out. I don't know how y'all do the buns with the braids on y'all head. Now, granted, I don't have a lot of hair on my head. This is not typical, like, regular knowledge braids. But still, after a while, the bun hurts on my head. It don't be hurting on y'all head. I don't know what it is. It gets me every time. Even when I do ponytails and all of that, like, the ponytails y'all wear up here or... It just be hurting. I don't know how I do it. You would think my head's big. It wouldn't hurt, but it does. Bag secured. It's wrinkled, but it's secured. Y'all, I decided to come to Wally World at this hour of 7.05, which is insane because it's just so out of routine. But I am here, I'm gonna get my shopping done so then I don't have to come here tomorrow. I'm already out, I was already down the street, so why not, right? Here we go. There was another reusable bag. So we got these. We got these last week too. Now I'm gonna see what their grapes are giving because the grapes at Aldi were trash. I should get the grapes with the seeds in them because they're better. They're like real, not lab made. to grab my gown. Five. I am so happy I did this because now all I need to go get is those face wipes. I'm gonna get me like two little snacky snacks for the mall this weekend, like probably some chips, maybe some chocolate, and we can head out. And today was just so productive. I feel like me going into the office two days a week have made me a little bit more productive outside of the house because I had really become a super hermit crab. Like I was already a hermit crab, but like hermit crab times 10 because I never wanted to leave my house. Okay, let's get it. Calling my mom to complain, y'all. Because I call my mom for any inconvenience or like anything. So she not about to answer is wild. I can't believe she's not answering. These, mom. How about they got the cutest blankets here at Walmart? And guess how much they are? $9.98. I could have got me a cute little throw blanket for $9.98. How much I paid? Like $16, $17? I could have saved my, my coin and just waited for them to bring them out. This is so stinking cute. 
When I is too late today, don't even worry yourself. We already got this stuff. So stinking cute. Oh, they got some cute little holo um welcome mats too for $9.98. Sweatpants, hair tied, chilling with no makeup on. That's when you're the prettiest. I hope that you don't take it wrong. You don't even trip when they, you ain't bringing. So I'm back home. It hasn't hit eight o'clock yet, so we're doing good because I want to get in the shower by eight o'clock. Um, but I end up getting like the jumbo. What is this? The share size of a Twix. Uh, I like chocolate. I'm a chocolate girl, and this is like one of my favorite chocolates. Like this is a perfect little snack, and then. They have my chips, so I got my chips. And these will be my snacks for Saturday at the mall. So I'm gonna try so friggin' hard not to eat any of this tomorrow. I know I can hold out on my chips, but this chocolate is gonna be hard, but I'm gonna try to just stay away and not eat it tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna go put my bags in the car and grab my gallons, because that's the only thing I have to grab. Hey y'all, happy Friday. Had a good workout. Now I am just Y'all know what I do when I gotta go to the mall. If you are not new here, y'all know the vibes. I'm just getting all this stuff situated to put in the car. But tonight is Friday, so it's just the setup tonight. And I'll bring the rest of the merchandise with me Saturday. So the thing with this pop-up is I don't have anything new for our bending tomorrow at christiana mall but i am going to have some sales as i always do but like i'm gonna have a rack of just all sale items like i'm gonna have a sign that says sale and i also have this spinny thing that came in i'll show y'all that later and i'm gonna put prices on there like well i'm gonna put percentages off like 50 percent off a free gift or something like that to make it fun and interactive and just add a little a little spunk to the shopping experience uh, for the customers in case I do have returning customers who may have everything but I'm sure they don't have everything so it's something they can find if they definitely like just want to come out and just buy something uh, yeah but my new items that I was really hoping was gonna be here and it usually is they're not coming in until next week on Wednesday probably Tuesday or Wednesday of next week but that's all fine and dandy because October we're not doing any vending events because we're prepping and getting ready for november's sipping shop which is going to be crazy like if you are in the dmv area delaware dc maryland new york pennsylvania it's definitely worth the trip down here because it's a vibe if you have a small business if you're trying to get your business off the ground if you just have stuff that you sell like you can um pay for a spot um and you know enjoy the time it's our third year the first two years were very successful and this year is going to be bigger and better as always you know the vibes and i like have some new stuff that i'm incorporating just like you know with the branding and just to elevate the experience i can't wait um once this item comes in i'm going to show y'all um yeah anyway i'm just super excited and feeling good i was feeling really like anxious and like overwhelmed with the month of september because there's literally stuff going on all the time and i feel like i'm on go they like there she go go but i'm feeling really good today like i feel very prepared i feel organized and like my creative juices are flowing i was feeling like so like i don't know if it was considered a creative block because I don't feel like I'm a creative, y'all. I don't know. I just don't feel like I'm super creative. But I guess we're all creative in our own ways. Let me sit y'all right here. Because mama, big mama is chatting. Nah, but I like made my, like wrote down my list. I'm really good with writing things down. Like I'm a writer downer <laughs> rather than a typer upper. And I like wrote down all the things that I want to get, I want to have for the sipping shop. I hope this fan isn't like loud. I wrote down all the all the items that I want to have for this sipping shop. So I have that prepared. I'm going to put that order in either Sunday evening or Monday because I want all the stuff to be in in October and I want to do a photo shoot. Dang, I can't even order everything. I got to wait until my stuff comes in Tuesday or Wednesday to put the order in. Saying that to say I have samples of some sweatsuits like full zip ups and full hoodies so that everything isn't cropped this year so definitely looking out for those who don't want these tummies out i understand i get it i heard y'all so that's what i'm gonna be putting the order in but i guess i can just like 
fill everything out that I need but anyways yeah I'm gonna be ordering all of that stuff I have all that come in if I have time I'm gonna do like a mini quick photo shoot and then I'm gonna make like a new banner have a new pop-up for this sipping shop so many things it's a lot because like not only am I planning an event for other businesses to be involved in I'm also have to prepare myself as a vendor that's gonna be there so y'all it be a lot and this is the part that I don't have a team running it's not like I have somebody on point for the marketing things like all right so find a way to spruce up the marketing this year okay you over here you worry about the social media um, make sure you're posting the content you're getting the word out uh, and then you're connecting with the business owners sending the emails making sure they got everything but also making sure you get their personalized flyers and make sure you're saying you're sending all the communications you need and then you you worry about the inventory and getting everything set up for the day of make sure we have all of our things we have all of our stuff and you worry about like you know getting the photo shoot together like I'm the person doing all of the jobs and it's a lot and I don't have the funds yet to pay people to do those things and it's also too like I have friends and family but you know I know that I'm going to do it right I know that I'm going to do it the way that I want to do it and I don't like putting pressure on other people especially when I can't pay them for their time to do it does that make sense and if y'all have any ideas or suggestions on if I could make this easier on myself please comment down below let me know I'm not sure how I would need to do that or how I would delegate the work in all of that yeah yeah like I could get someone to run my social media like page you know but like I would want someone who knows like knows like the algorithm and like when to post and like trust that they're gonna post when I need them to post and I don't want to be checking in like hey are you gonna post today like I want you to blow up the story I want you to do this like I want them to already be doing that but I feel like I need to pay someone who has that expertise I've been chatting it's been six minutes so yeah comment down below I'm about to put this stuff in the truck shower start my work day and the last thing I feel like I need to do is like get some cash out for those who are paying with cash tomorrow and then I'm gonna be meeting my mom at the mall later so, hey y'all it is later in the day and I'm with y'all groom my mm -hmm. we are at the mall let me see. Oh, that's real pretty. Real cool, okay. right? Yeah, very demure. Lisa was like, very mindful. Lisa. Tina was like, that's some fall. Very pretty, very pretty fall. That's how she sound, Mom. My mom got the same color? But hers is a little more pinkish. Mine's a little more towards the red. Oh, okay. Today's my mom's birthday. What you gonna do for Big Mama for real? What you gonna do for my birthday? That's right, while we was out, she decorated the house with the Oh, did she? My mom doesn't know yet. Uh -huh. Oh, I can't wait this. She gonna record her. I should tell her the video. Yes, you should. Yeah, so we're at the mall. We're about to get some food, go in Target. I'm on the hunt for some travel size mousse so that I can pack it. Um, I'm traveling next week and I'm trying to only take a check bag. And y'all, I'm traveling for four days. Four days. And y'all know I'm an overpacker. I'm the overpacker queen. But I'm trying so hard to do a check bag. In the meantime, I am chatting with a live representative because my business cards are still not here. And I ordered 500 of them um, back in, like, they said they were on the way September 4th. And they're still not here. So, to, upon checking UPS tracking, it shows that the last update was indeed September 4th. I know. And no progress ever since. I know. He said, I believe this is already missing in transit. It is. So, I need them to, with our permission, I will go ahead and reorder your business card. No need to return the ones that you received. Thank you. I um, get my business cards from Vista Print. And I order from them all the time. I've been ordering with them for, for like so long. Even before... I was doing life fit and I was just doing my own like personal branding. I've been ordering with them. But yeah, I've been ordering with them forever. Um, I just ordered some branding products as well for the sipping shop. So they see that I have like, and I got so much branding stuff from them. Okay, I was able to replace your order. It remains the same and this estimated delivery date would be on 926. 
this contact you'll receive several emails that may include marketing and satisfaction survey and tracking blah 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 so i'm glad vista print is accommodating me why would you what happened because i order business cards when the end of august you still haven't got them no and i've been following you the tracking oh, you've been trying i've been following the tracking following the tracking oh, okay. and then the last update was september 4th and i still haven't gotten them so i reached out via their live chat and they're very great i'm giving them a good five stars oh, yeah, Mr. Prince, very they don't play around yeah. so they was like with your they said it hasn't been any updates since september 4th with your permission can we replace your order i'm saying yes you can absolutely and they just sent all of that that was so nice so we settled and got chick-fil-a well my mom knew she was getting chick-fil-a i just didn't know what i wanted and i'm mad that i forgot my chick-fil-a gift card but i just got an eight count a small fry eight count with texas heat and a cup of ice water mom what did you get show them you got time my mouth is full <laughs> The four piece chicken strips and some french fries with a sun joy. Yeah, she loves the sun joy. Y'all know me, I'm a plain Jane. I just like water. I like the juice, but I'd rather have my calories in my food than a beverage. So, my mom was coming to get some black sneakers. She got some black New Balance. That she's gonna wear with like her sweatsuits and stuff. I was not supposed to be getting any sneakers, but I end up getting some much needed new workout sneakers. Ashanti. Yeah, so I end up getting my hokas that I've been wanting but just been holding out on because I just didn't want to pay for them. But I buckled down and just got them. So excited. They were really comfortable, very supportive. So okay y'all the reason we came here main reason was to get set up so lights it is set up um we're in our typical spot but a little moved over this is the before so this is the before and then you'll see everything set up tomorrow which will probably be on the next vlog y'all need to do something with my hair i feel like ever since my mom washed it it's just like more tangly it's giving dreads <laughs> like i need to do better because i need this hair to be real cute next week child i'm finally back home i'm tired and i have to it's 9 16 and i need to load this stuff into the car so i'm about to do that and then i want to then i want to show you some toiletries that i got from target <laughs> All right, y'all, so for the past, like, 15 minutes, I've been putting together this little spinny thing. It's going to be like, doo -doo 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 -doo. and it literally had all these freaking pieces. Like, I had to put each one of these in here and, like, seal the back. It's easy. It's just tedious, and I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, here goes the little thing that it's going to sit on. I don't know, but I'm just trying to put this together before it gets too late who is texting me let me call my mom back y'all it came out so stinking cute yeah, i feel like i need to loosen it or something but that was free sock this is free sock again five percent off your purchase let's take a pic for ig free fanny yeah so this is a little something different I'm adding, especially since I don't have new products for like my returning customers. There is something to spice up your shopping experience with us and a way to get interactive. And in order to spin the wheel, you have to be following the Instagram. Easy peasy. Let me squeezy. Before I wrap up this vlog, I wanted to show recap with y'all really quick. I showed y'all the hokas I got, but I was real quick because I was in the store and right in front of the cashier and I feel like she was just all in my mouth. Anyways, I'm so hyped. I finally got my freaking fingers on some hokas. I just hadn't went to the store and I really wanted to try them on. Or I could have been gotten them, but I wanted to try them on and like make sure I could tell the difference in... Um, the sneaker and how it fit like the bottom part so i think i might be flat-footed and 
I love my on clouds. I had two pair of the same on clouds like back to back like once one was done and I ran it into the ground. But I need something to support my arch. So I got the hookahs. I've heard great things about them. And these actually feel really light. And when I had them on, they felt pretty good. So I'm so excited to try these out next week. And I will let y'all know how they go. I'm thinking, I don't know, like, I'll keep, I'm obviously going to keep my on clouds as some backup sneakers. So I'll just keep them in my trunk. I'm not sure if I want to wear one, like, walking on the track and then one in the gym. I'm going to try these for both. The hookahs for both exercises activities i'm gonna try these for both activities and see how they go but i need to put them in my gym bag they were 145 dollars mind you i buy a workout sneaker once a year so for me to wear that three to five to wear the sneaker three to five times a week that's a great investment you know and i run them i get my money's worth and some uh, then we went in Target and I got my Sensodyne Extra Whitening. I started using Sensodyne Toothpaste. Um, so I love Crest 3D White. However, my teeth can be sensitive, like my gum parts up here. And like the Crest 3D White makes them even more sensitive. So Sensodyne really is helpful. And I have the extra whitening to hopefully help with keeping my teeth white and bright. And then, y'all, I found some mousse. Super hype. It has coconut, avocado oil, 24-hour touchable definition, um, flawless curls. And I really just need it for my braids. And it's travel size. So I got me two of those so that it works with me just trying to take a check bag in my backpack when I travel next week. And then I seen this on um, the Bioderma. It's like the micellar water, like the Garnier one. I found the travel size of the um bioderma i seen this on tiktok and i was looking for this in cvs and i couldn't find it but i'm so excited that i'm gonna take it with me on my travel y'all i haven't used johnson johnson baby lotion in so long but like i was looking for like just a little little regular lotion to just travel with um outside of like my the smell good um sol de janeiro and then i got a travel like bar dove so i have the liquid body gel but i wanted a bar too like i like to make sure i have enough soap and plus, where I'm going to be at, it's going to be hot as heck. So, I'll probably take multiple showers a day. <sighs> Saying that all to say, I need to have multiple soap. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think we're done here, guys. Thank you all for tuning in to this week's vlog. I know I did a lot of ch chatting, a lot of ranting. But that was my week. Like, I was going through problems with my skin. And trying to just get my life back with my skin. Because my skin, my face... And my skin being messed up on my face can really deter my mood, my attitude, how, like all it as you clearly could see. And I, I share it with y'all. Um, and I'm just glad I'm back on the right track in a great mood, in a better mood. Like my face is better, so I feel better. Like my face was not together, so I was just feeling really down. Um, but you know, it's life. We go through it, ups and downs, all the things. Thank y'all for tuning in. Love y'all so much. And make sure you be the light wherever you go, because wherever you go, the light shall fall. I love you guys so much and I will see y'all next week. Bye!